course, um, we, we spoke last night at the Graduate School of Business about how women are impactful in emerging economies. And I think that customization is, is often really important when it comes to business people, especially in the South African context and in emerging economies. Can you, can you tell us why? Because, so emerging economies can be defined as a space where it's ever-changing, it's, um, there's a high level of inequality, um, there's uncertainty, and as leaders we have to be ready to face those challenges that emerging markets and economies um, you know, offer us. So as the UCT uh, Business School, we, because we are based in this context and in this economy, we, our mission is to develop leaders that can navigate this economy and this context specifically. So we want to teach them how to lead, not from a space of you know, business as usual. We want uh, our leaders to think of new ways of leading, new strategies, leading from a place of values and being driven by that. Um, and realizing that while profit, profit and bottom line is really, really important, it is what is your impact as a leader? So that is why we focus on developing leaders that um, don't only have the business acumen. Um, we need them to be able to um, have the strategic conversations that can be impactful in below the line, you know, um, the bottom of the pyramid, having an impact in that economy, which is a large economy that we have to um, consider in emerging markets. Now, women in business is something that the Graduate School of Business is particularly passionate about. In fact, you have programs tailored specifically to women in business. Talk to us a little bit more about that. So we currently have a program that in its, it's in its 10th iteration this year, which we're very, very proud of. Um, it's a collaboration or partnership with, the Johns with Johnson & Johnson. And it's a program that was specifically designed for their women and their women leaders in the EMEA region. Um, the program was designed ten, 10 years ago to meet the need of having 50% of their board members to be female executives. Um, 10 years later, we are still working towards that. So it shows you the drive towards getting women onto boards is still a struggle for many organizations. Um, so it's in its 10th year and um, the program is designed to assist women to be more impactful. To, it's not by any means to separate women from men. It's actually to just help them enhance their presence in the business space, to be more authentic um, and bring themselves fully into this leadership role. And um, having being in our tenth year, um, we have we are celebrating it with Johnson and Johnson. Uh, the other important thing is that it is an international program. So we start the program, we ground it at the business school in Cape Town, and then we move the program around to um, to Europe. So there are two modules in Europe, and um, we have a lot of involvement from the. Um, the HRVPs and the heads of the organization who are very invested in the development of the women in the organization. And year on year we have seen the women that have participated on the Ascend, Johnson & Johnson Ascend program, we have seen that they have grown within the organization and have um, started to hold very key positions in this business. So um, it's a great partnership that um, that we have with Johnson & Johnson. Mm. And how fantastic to hear that you're seeing those results, you're seeing those women coming through the program in those influential positions. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, I'm sure you see many students coming and going each year, and the Graduate School of Business is rooted in Cape Town, a really proudly South African institution, and you deal with, among international students, South African business leaders. What about South Africa, and what about South African business leaders makes you, keeps you in your job, keeps you doing this day after day, and, and makes you optimistic about business in South Africa. Because the truth of the matter is we, we often hear negative stories about doing business in South Africa, 
but really the UCT Graduate School of Business has, has a different story to tell. Mm -hmm. What makes me excited about the leaders that we are producing at um, the Graduate School of Business is that they are not afraid to tackle the real issues that we are faced with um, as so uh, South Africans. And um, they are willing to interrogate the issues that are on hand. They are willing to work really hard to, to look at the, the economy, the state of the economy, um, to create new innovative ways of um, approaching business. And um, we see this all the time, you know, the kind of choices of electives that our, our uh, students are choosing. We have uh, a v oversubscribed, in fact, social innovation and entrepreneurship um, uh, elective at the moment, which, which talks to where leaders' hearts are at. And that's exactly the kind of leaders that we are, uh, are producing at the school. Um, there are many of our leaders that have been that have come through our programs that are making a huge impact in South Africa. Um, and there are quite a few in uh, influential positions, both in parastatals as well as private sector. So I, f I believe that the school is producing leaders that are having the impact that they need to have to drive the South African economy, to, um, to lead with passion, with power, and a lot of these leaders, um, from what I've experienced, are values driven, which is what we focus on as a business school. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us today. And before you go, won't you tell us if we would like to interact with the Graduate School of Business's Executive Education Program online? I know that there's a Twitter handle. How can we find you? How can we get in touch? Our email address is execed at gsb.uct.ac.za and our phone number is 0860-UCT-GSB and our Twitter handle is at gsbexed. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me here.